Hi, Yarny friends. This is Stephanie Stephanie's Yarn Escape. Thank you for joining me today for day five of 12 Days of Gnomes. Um, this is something that I'm doing with Christy from Crochet Creations by Christy, um, where we're doing making gnomes. Her and I each made six gnomes, so that's 12 gnomes total. Today is my day to show a gnome. We also exchanged 12 gifts. Um, basically, we'll put no rules to this thing. We just had a theme, and that was it, which I'm so glad we did. It's it's a lot of fun. I hope to do another one with her next year. So today is my day to show a gnome. Um, welcome to my dark space. And I'm going to, again, apologize for my lighting. Um, it's nighttime. It's about almost 7 o'clock at night, 6.45. And this is what I have to work with. And it is what it is. Um, I did order some lights yesterday. So they'll be here in a few days. I'm very excited about it. It's a big step for me. Um, I've been on the shelf of, I've eyed these lights for quite some time. Um, I sell a lot of my finished items. So I do a lot of photography. Um, one of the skills I'm working on is per, uh, doing better pictures for my finished items. So I really needed them. And for situations like this where I'm recording in the evening and stuff. So they're going to come in handy. Um, so they'll be here in a few days. We're going to experiment with that. Um, but yeah. But until then, this is what we got is darkness <laughs> with the Christmas lights on. I just have one light over here in the hall. It's, but that's not what you guys are here for. You guys are here to see the yarny stuff, right? So like I said, today is my day to share a gnome. So here is just a recap. Here's the first gnome, a Santa gnome with the pom-pom. He's so cute. I love that one. And then my second gnome was the Grinch gnome with the extra fuzzy beard. He's, he's got some extra fuzz. And my next gnome is this guy. You can see here a little bit. Now I did something different with this, his beard. I'm going to hide behind him. So his beard, instead of separating the yarn, I brushed it with a pet comb and it is so soft. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> goodness. It is so soft. So I took a pet brush or a pet comb and I just started at the bottom and just brushed it out. Um, some of the fibers did come out. So I probably, I probably should have put more yarn in there to really poof it up. But look how cute he is. It's so cute. I love it. And with the lighting, I'm sorry about the colors, but he's still cute. You'll be able to see a really good picture of him on my Facebook group. Uh, Christy has a post going and I have a post going as well where we're taking pictures of our gnomes and putting them on the Facebook group. And if you guys are feeling inspired to make gnomes your own selves, be sure to share them. We want to see your gnomes. Show us your gnomes. So for this one here, the pattern I used was Herbert the Gnome. Um, I got it on Annie's. It's a pay for pattern. I believe it's $4.99. And I have no problems with paying for a pattern at all um, because you got to get paid for your work, right? Um, the, it's written by Elisa's Crochet. It's very easy to follow. I really enjoyed it. Um, she doesn't have any instructions on attaching the beard or any of the parts of the gnome because he's worked in all different sections. Um, so yeah, but everything else is clearly written in the pattern. Um, if you guys follow my other shows this past Sunday, I announced my goals for 2021. And one of them is perfecting my amigurumi skills. And this has really put me to the challenge. Let me tell you something about these gnomes. The attaching I've had luck with. I haven't found much issues with attaching the gnome because it's pretty standard. But where I struggle with is his nose. His nose gets me every time. And I've learned upon assembling them that I do the nose first, get it out of the way because I was doing the beard and I was putting the nose in and then I, and then I was doing the hat and then the nose and I ran into issues there. The key for me this may not be for everybody, but if you are 
a person that struggles with aim and grooming like I do sometimes, um, that's one of the good things about doing numerous things of the same thing. Um, I learned that putting his nose on first and attaching everything else around the nose where you can attach the beard, the yarn for the beard around the nose. So you don't have to try and sew his nose down through the parts of the beard. So that's one thing I learned, one little tip. So yes, the yarn I used for him was now in the pattern, it has you starting with a different color on the bottom and then a different color for his sweater and then a different, you know, and then a whatever color for the hat. Yeah, he had a different color for his original hat. But all my, this is the first one I made. I needed to do a test to see what the pattern was like. And so I did what the pattern said because I wasn't sure how it was going to work up. So, but all my other ones, I did the same color on the bottom. Like my Santa Gnome, he's got the same color on the bottom. So, but anyways, I did, I used Red Heart Super Saver for the dark gray part and charcoal. And that's the only spot it's used in is at the very bottom of the gnome and you guys maybe I don't know and then for his hat I use Red Heart Super Saver and Claret and then for his sweater I use Red Heart and Dusty Gray so those are the three colors that I use to make this gnome so I haven't come up with a name for him yet like I have my Santa gnome and I have my Grinch gnome, but I haven't thought of a name. He was my original one that I made first. Um, so I'll have to think of a, a name for him. But he's just pretty standard gray and red. He's really cute. And I enjoyed making it. And I got three more to show you guys and I can't wait. So with that, next is my next gift from Christy, day five. Now, so far I've been blown away with the things that she's gifted me. She has found a way to give me things so far that I don't have in my stash, which is, well, how did she know? How do you know what to get someone? Yarning wise, that you're not sure if they have or not, but she's done it so far. So day one was this bag that says one of a kind. Day two was four balls of ice yarns in that pretty colorway. Day three was Karen Pantone bamboo and purple scribbles with one of her stitch markers in those gorgeous purple colors. I think the first thing I'm going to make, oh, I say that now, but I don't know what else is, is in the, sorry, my cat's behind me. Uh, uh, I don't know what else. Is in the box so I say this is probably gonna be the first one I'm gonna make something with but I'm truly not sure because I don't know what else is about to come yesterday was this gorgeous cake of willow yarns wheels okay so what's day five day five is this package here day five and it has a mint on it which I might actually be able to keep for myself. My daughter saw the piece of chocolate on the other one and she instantly claimed it. That's for me. That's mine. I'll take it. Fine. Take the chocolate. But she doesn't like mint. I like mint. So I get to keep this one. All right. So let's see what's inside. Oh my goodness. I was not expecting this at all. Oh my gosh. It's a T. Doddles mini maker bag and it has Rapunzel on it. Oh my God. And I just said, oh my goodness. Inside are stitch markers. Let me see if I can show you guys. 
with my lighting. I can't promise anything, but I'm going to try the best that I can. Here's one stitch marker. It has little butterflies on it. Oh my gosh. Here's the other stitch marker. Look how cute that is. Oh my goodness. It's a little fairy sitting on the moon. That is sticky cute. Okay. And inside, the print is... Oh, my goodness. Little stars with a fairy. That's throughout the inside. Oh, my goodness. This is stinking cute. This is stinking cute. I can't, the words are escaping me because I am literally in shock right now. Because what's funny is I had purchased a T. Doddles Mini Maker bag recently, a couple months ago actually, for the grand prize, grand prize giveaway for the mystery progressive uh, crochet along that Christy and I are co-hosting together. And I had said that I don't have a tea Dottles bag at all. And I was always hoping that sometime I can get one for myself someday to add for me. And it's funny because I remember Christy doing this video that she received it and I really loved it. And Oh my goodness. I am shocked right now. I am, I'm in love with this. Thank you so much, Christy. Thank you. And one of the tricks that Christy has showed is you take a cake and you put it inside and you work from your cake. And you know, when you work from a cake, sometimes your cake collapses and you got yarn mess everywhere and knots and you're just like, I'm done with this cake. And you get frustrated and sometimes the crochet hook goes flying across the room and your project goes to the other side of the room and everything goes in timeout and oh i've experienced that i don't know if you have but yeah me but anyways you take your cake you put it inside you work from your cake and then the yarn circus doesn't happen you can work from your cake oh my gosh Thank you so much. How on earth you, you yet again, blow my mind and I can't even wrap my head around it. I'm happy that I'm excited that I have a T. Doddles mini maker bag in my collection. I'm so excited. <sighs> thank you so much. I can't say thank you enough. Oh my goodness. I hope you guys are enjoying the 12 days of gnomes just as much as I am. I'm having an absolute blast. Um, I hope me and Christy, oh, you know what? Not hope. I know me and Christy are going to do something else next year because 2021 is going to be a lot of fun with her and we have a lot of plans and ideas and stuff. So it's, it's going to be lots of fun. I'd love to do this again. Um, I'm ready to start talking about it, Christy. What are our plans for next year? All right. I hope you guys have a great night and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.